My name is Reed Frank. We are here to uh, show you the benefits of LP gas and small engines uh, tonight. And we are here also with Pump Biz. And you will find Pump Biz on the internet at pumpbiz.com. Okay, we have to uh, disassemble some of the components of the engine, not very many. And uh, this is a uh, Honda GX35 water pump. And uh, to start with, we'll have to remove our air cleaner housing assembly. And we lay that off to the side. And we have uh, some of the components already loose for this application, so to speed things up. And we will remove those at this time and lay them here off to the side. And some of these components we're not going to replace, we're actually not going to put back on. We're actually going to replace some components like this. <clears throat> Take off our cover off the engine. Uh, we have, on this particular engine, we have three screws that actually holds the intake housing on. And the reason we have to do this is because we'll see later on there is two little extension screws. Well, actually, I reference that now, they're actually a little longer than this. And uh, we have to increase the length of them because of the extra spacing that we're putting in on the engine. And to do that, we have to remove some components, not many. And it don't take too long to do this. Most other applications are similar to this, but not as uh, as involved. Most of them are just bolt-on applications. And and uh, at this point, right here, we're ready. We're we've got the com the engine completely disassembled to this point, as far as we need to go. And now we're at the point where we can start putting it back together. Okay, what we've done up to this point is we've removed the components that we're not going to use anymore. We set them off to the side. You might want to mark them for a later date. You never know. You, might, um, you probably never want to because we want you to continue to run good, clean LP gas with the all-field conversion kit. But up to this point, we have removed the components on the engine, put in our new studs. They're a little longer than what they were originally so that it'll accommodate our all-field conversion plate. Now, with that said, I will show you how this all-field conversion plate is actually installed on the engine, which is extremely easy to do, and uh, anyone with uh, a little bit of garage savvy can handle that type of thing. And you would put this plate on the engine here, make sure your O-ring is in there. What you'll want to do, actually, in this application is uh, you'll dab a little bit of uh, silicon uh, black sealant at this point here, so where it seals together. So, And the reason for that is, is so that when this starts to run, this will draw a good vacuum. And so we'll put the plate on at this time. We'll secure it with a couple of supplied nuts that come in the package with it. They do not need any Loctite on these nuts. Uh, these are to be left um, so that if you need to remove this at some time in the future by yourself or by a skilled mechanic, technician, that, uh, uh, that can be done. So we'll just secure those on there with our socket wrench. At this point, we're ready to um, reinstall our air cleaner, but before we do that, um, there's another process that we want to do at this point. We actually want to install our white Teflon tape uh, at this point on the threads on your uh, application hose, and what that does, that actually is applied to this fitting right here, and that's where we deliver our, our L good, clean LP gas in at that point. Now, to do that, we actually install this component up here on this lever here, and then that'll install into this valve, and so that this is your regulator, as well as your zero governor, and that controls your fuel on and off, as well as your regulated fuel as the engine is running up and down. And also, too, this is uh, one of the new tanks that is available uh, from this company here, and uh, this is also a refillable tank, and that is coming in the near future. Uh, with that said, we'll put our air cleaner back on, and this uh, application actually will be a complete application and ready to burn good, clean, alternative LP fuel uh, supplied by all fuel conversions. Okay, we are ready to start our assembly process on this all fuel conversion kit. And uh, first thing I'd like to point out is on this assembly kit, you'll get a package of um, Loctite that goes on the threads and you'll want to put this brass colored nut on this particular one on the end of the thread making it flush with the end of the threads and what that allows us to do is, is this gives us extra length of stud for this particular application 
And what I'll do now is I'll add the studs to the on the back side of the throttle plate. Make sure they're they're fully pulled in and locked. And now you can start your reassembly. And you want to move some of your other components out of the way so you can slide it in there easily. And then uh, you want to secure it with your three screws that, that were in there originally. Uh, once again, I'd like to say we're not modifying the carburation system on this uh, one at one bit at all because we uh, run dual fuel systems on this and uh, you'll be able to go back to gasoline and run gasoline anytime you want to, but of course we prefer you to run uh, good clean LP gasoline, uh, vapored gas. As you can see, the carburation goes back on just like it came off, and we hook up all the fuel lines just like they're supposed to be, originally from the factory, but no modifications in there. There are some components that you'll probably want to discard, maybe put them on a shelf somewhere, maybe for a later date uh, use or something like that, but those components will not be used anymore. You want to keep your, your nuts uh, out there to... Uh, secure the whole project together when you're done. Oh. What we've done up to this point is we've removed the components that we're not going to use anymore. We set them off to the side. You might want to mark them for a later date. You never know. You, might, um, you probably never want to because we want you to continue to run good clean LP gas with the all fuel conversion kit. But up to this point we have removed the components on the engine Put in our new studs. They're a little longer than what they were originally so that it'll accommodate our all-field conversion plate. Now, with that said, I will show you how this all-field conversion plate is actually installed on the engine, which is extremely easy to do, and uh, anyone with uh, a little bit of garage savvy can handle that type of thing. And you would put this plate on the engine here, make sure your O-ring is in there. What you'll want to do, actually, in this application is uh, you'll dab a little bit of uh, silicon uh, black sealant at this point here so where it seals together so and the reason for that is is so that when this starts to run this will draw a good vacuum and so we'll put the plate on at this time we'll secure it with a couple of supplied nuts that come in the package with it they do not need any Loctite on these nuts uh, these are to be left um, so that if you need to remove this at some time in the future by yourself or by a skilled mechanic technician that uh, uh, that can be done. So we'll just secure those on there with our socket wrench. At this point we're ready to um, reinstall our air cleaner but before we do that um, there's another process that we want to do at this point. We actually want to install our white Teflon tape uh, at this point on the threads on your uh, application hose and what that does, that actually is applied to this fitting right here. And that's where we deliver our, our L, good clean LP gas in at that point. Now, to do that, we actually install this component up here on this lever here, and then that'll install into this valve, and so that this is your regulator, as well as your zero governor, and that controls your fuel on and off, as well as your regulated fuel as the engine is running up and down. And also, too, this is uh, one of the new tanks that is available uh, from this company here, and uh, this is also a refillable tank, and that is coming in the near future. Uh, with that said, we'll put our air cleaner back on, and this uh, application actually will be a complete application and ready to burn good, clean, alternative LP fuel uh, supplied by all fuel conversion. Okay, we're ready to finish this application at this time, and we'll put our engine shroud back on the engine. And uh, this is also for your safety, as well as engine cooling. And uh, with that, uh, completes our job tonight. And we have our all-field conversion kit ready to burn good, clean, alternative LP gas uh, by all-field conversions. And you'll find them on the internet, all-field conversions.
www.thinkingmanlife.com. Thank you very much.